for a small country with a big heart. Streets are filled with the happy people, musicians and festivals. Belgrade is the one of the oldest city in Europe. It's the birthplace of the great Roman emperors and scientists like Nikola Tesla. Serbia is a country so rich and fertile that we produce 30% of the world's raspberries. Although my parents couldn't afford a lot of toys, my sister and I had a very happy childhood. Sometimes we prepared cookies with our mother, we played with the dolls in the backyard, often with other children. Some of these children had mental or physical disabilities, but back then it didn't matter. In my family, respect and solidarity was important. Every morning we start together with coffee and during the dinner we shared experiences we had over the day at the work and in the school. But then came the time when the peaceful sound of my childhood were replaced by sound of bombs. One night, my family and me sit together and watching our favorite TV show. In that moment, on our door came our cousin. He told us, I think I heard the siren of danger. Our favorite TV show stopped. The war began. From that moment, everything is changed. We had to spend most of our time playing the games with my sister under the table. Because that was the most safest place in our home. We had to sleep with all our clothes, with the shoes and jacket, with little food in our pockets in every moment ready to escape. I remember when we all went into the forest, hide in the dark, we hear the sound of the first explosion. The ground is shaken and skies be full of fire. The heat first company very close to my home. In that time, we all stayed together, feeling solidarity. But when army came and bring the food and protecting masks, and when everything not enough for everyone, solidarity was gone. Everybody started to think only of themselves. Seventy-eight days. Life in fear, danger, and darkness. The war stopped. Many of us lost their loved one. Many were disabled, without leg, arm. The rate of people with a mental disability increased to 15%. Many soldiers who came were stressed. Some of them died because of a heart attack. There, we start together, but finish alone. There was no interest in caring for each other anymore. For example, we wanted to collect money for operation of disabled child. Many people couldn't give money. Why? Because many company was destroyed, many people stay without job. Even now, it's high unemployment of youth in Serbia. But many people didn't interesting at all to help this disabled child. That situation hurt me, make me angry. In that moment, I could do, could not do anything. I was just a child. But later, I had an idea. 
many disabled people didn't get a job because of mindset the employers. That's why I decided to start my project, to wake up society. I create job for myself to sell self-designed textile. This knowledge I want to share with members of my project, people with intellectual disability. I want to teach them how to create a product, how to sell product, how to design products. Products like pillow and cover pillow. I present you one of my members. I want to see Serbia where people show togetherness, where people buying a product, not because they are produced by people with disability, but they love their quality and design. I want to make my dreams come true and first think what we must to do to wake up society to take up responsibility for each other. Wake up, society! Thank you.